What is going on guys and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Today we got a nice pull day session for you guys and uh, today I weighed in at 187 pounds so we're getting a little bit lighter, a little bit leaner. You guys can probably tell by the, the face, getting that little death face draw is getting a little bit more structured but we're starting off as our first workout of today's pull day with barbell rows. Today I want to switch it up, normally I do a single arm row but this time we're gonna do barbell rows because just because I want to get a little more load on the back, make sure we're going a little bit heavier. So I warmed up the entire beginning of the workout with some rollouts, some cable movements. And then uh, once I got into the barbell row, we're doing a Smith machine, by the way. Um, Smith machine, in my opinion, is one of the best utilizations to feel that muscle contraction a little bit better because you're not really ruining your form when you do it with a Smith machine versus a regular barbell. So. When I do the barbell Smith machine, I warmed up here for three sets. Now I did my first working set. Then I got two more working sets of about eight to 10 reps. This is gonna really prime our back. So if you start off with a barbell movement or a Smith machine row kind of movement, you can put on as much weight as you want because it's the first workout of the day. Make sure you warm up first before you go ahead. But a quick update for you guys. Tomorrow is gonna be my first cheat meal in about, I think like eight weeks now or maybe 10 weeks, ever since I started with Coach Kyle. So I'm excited. So I'm gonna have some probably burgers and fries, film that for you guys for the next video to come. This one's gonna be a completely different video, but first cheat meal of the goddamn prep. Come on. 
So whenever you're new into the gym and you want to really see progression, what a lot of people don't do is they clock their rest periods. Instead, they'll like go into their set when they feel like it, or they'll start, you know, having a conversation with a gym buddy, and they wouldn't realize how, how much time is passing by in between their sets. And then, you know, they'll ask themselves, why can't I grow or why is my progression slow? One thing I definitely recommend is people clocking in the rest period. So if you want to really like see some progression in your workouts and really have that intensity in your workouts, make sure you have at least a minute rest period for a high rep range between eight to 12 reps. And then maybe two to three minute rest periods when it comes to a heavier weight that you're going for, maybe like deadlifts for five reps or, you know, three reps, but definitely clock in those rest periods so you can see the progression week by week instead of, you know, saying, why can't I grow? You know, that's one thing that a lot of people don't really realize is that rest periods are crucial when they're clocked in. Because if you're just lily dallying and having a conversation with a buddy of yours, you're not going to realize one, your pump is gone, two, that momentum is gone, and three, the intensity is gone. So you want to make sure you're really dialed in.
fucking up. So, on my last video, I talked about a break the bar method for the tricep extensions. This one, we're gonna use that same method, but, our, but for our biceps. So we're gonna use the same bar, right? But this time you wanna to try to snap it the other way around, right? And you're gonna flex that bicep. So the goal of this is to snap it like you're snapping it inward, right? Last time when we do a tricep, we're snapping it outward, right? So it's the same method, break the bar method. This time we're just doing it for our biceps. So as soon as you grip it, you wanna kind of have your pinkies turn outward, turn, turn towards your thumbs. So that's the whole goal is like, I'm really gonna squeeze that pinky and pull just to keep my biceps tense the entire time. Oh, man. 